In this video, we'll be going over default chart settings. This is the first of two videos on the subject. Default chart settings determine the chart settings for all the charts in MotiveWave by default on a global level, and they can be accessed via Configure, Preferences, Chart, and Chart Settings. At the top, we have the default tool. This is the default tool to use on the chart. At the moment, we have the drag tool selected. You can see it here in the top toolbar. We also have the revert to default tool. And what this does is when completing an action with the selected tool, the chart will automatically switch back to the default tool, which is listed here. So for example, if we were to change this tool to the select tool, and we have revert to default tool selected, then we click OK. If I were to select a different tool, and let's say draw a line, you'll notice here that it reverted to the default tool, which in this case is a select tool. So if we go back, configure preferences, chart, chart settings, and we remove revert to default tool, and then click OK. If we select the line tool again, and let's say we're to draw another line, you'll notice that my cursor is still the line tool. It has not reverted to the default tool. So let's put this back. I'm going to put it actually back to drag. Let's clean up the chart. Let's go back, configure, preferences, chart. And I'm going to set this back the way I want it. We have a bar type. There's a default type of bar to display when opening a chart. You have a list to select from here. In this example, I'm going to pick open, high, low, close bars. Click Apply OK. Now if we open up a new chart, you'll notice now instead of the candlesticks, we have the open, high, low, close bars. OK, let's close that. Let's go back. Chart, Chart Settings. Here we have bar schemes. Now with the normal bar schemes, this displays a different color if the bar closes higher than open versus lower than open which is the default, which is what we have here. Then we have inside, outside. Colors change if the bar closes higher, lower than open. If the bar has a lower high, higher low than the previous bar, then it's the inside bar. And if the bar has a higher high and a lower lower than the previous bar, then that's an outside bar. So if we select that, you'll notice here we get some colored bars. Here we have an outside bar, another outside bar, and then we have another one here just behind the dialog window. We can also change this to day of the week. If we click apply, the different days of the week will change color. And if I pan this over, you'll notice here as there's different days, there's different colors. Let's go back to preferences. We have alternate day. The colors will alternate between days. Alternate hour. Uh, this is a 15-minute chart, but if I were to go to an hour chart, you'll see it better. You see it here still. These are the 15-minute candles, and they alternate with the hour. But if I were to go over to an hour chart, you'll see here that every other bar alternates color. Okay, let's go back to the 15-minute chart. Let's click Configure, Preferences, Chart, Chart Settings. And then, of course, we have extended versus regular hours. And I'm not sure if I have extended here. Yes, I do. And that alternates. So let's put this back, back to normal. Now for bar size, this is the default bar size when opening up a new chart. We also have bar thickness. So if we were to change this to 15 minute, and this time put something a bit heavier, and we click Apply. OK, if I open a new chart, IBM, you'll notice that the open, high, low, close bars are a lot thicker now that we change the thickness. Let's go back, configure, preferences, chart, chart settings. Let's put this back to one. Here for the chart symbol, this will give us the option of listing either the symbol, the title, or the description. So right now we have symbols selected. Up here we have AAPL. If we select title, we now see the title. And if we select description, click apply, we now have the description. 
And these fields are picked up via the Edit Instrument fields here. So here we have a title, and we, here we have the description. OK, let's go back, Configure Preferences, Chart, Chart Settings. I'm going to put this back to Symbol. We have the Axis Style, which controls the style of the price and time axis. So right now we have inside, if you take a look at this vertical line, you'll notice that it's on the inside. If we were to switch this to outside, click apply, you'll now notice that it's switched to the outside. And we have a thin vertical line here on the inside. If we were to put this to simple, then we lose that inner thin horizontal line. Shade. This draws a shaded area at time or price intervals on the chart. So if I did horizontal, you're going to notice horizontal shading. If I change this to vertical, you'll notice vertical shading. So let's take the shading off. So shift click, command click, and command alt click. This may be different on the PC, and you will see that under chart chart settings. This will list the default object to draw when using this key combination along with the left mouse button. So if I shift click in this case, I'm going to get text. So shift click, and here I have the text. Okay, if I go back, chart, chart settings, I can change this to any of these available actions here. Let's leave it at text. For command click, I have the price guide. So command click, I have a price guide. Configure preferences. Again, we can change this to any of the listed actions here. For command alt click, I have the time guide. So command alt click, I have the time guide. Configure preferences. Chart, chart settings. Now for line method, this is a calculation method for calculating the lines on a wedge, either time and price or angle. So let's take a look at that. So if I were to uh, just draw a wedge here and then click properties, just to show you what it looks like, and I were to select, uh, let's say, four lines, here we have the angle method, and you'll notice that the angle is consistent, whereas if I select time price, then the additional lines will be based on time and price. Okay, so let's put this back to two. Configure preferences. Chart, chart settings. So that's for the line method. Then we have the fill area, and if we select that, then the area of the wedge will be filled if we click apply and you'll notice here is filled. Okay, so this concludes video one of chart settings, and video two will cover the second column.